How's it going guys, it's Mr Lone Wolf and uh, today I'm going to attempt another logging mission but I'm on a uh, drowned land so I've got to go to quarry for this one if it kind of can see the uh, mission. It's called waterlogged and uh, yeah I've got to take three lots of medium logs to uh, the quarry so I'm going to have another attempt at trying to do it in one run instead of doing like yeah three separate runs with uh, the medium trailers so at the minute I've got the t uh, Western Star 49X you'll see I'll switch it out in a minute you'll sort of see why. Um, yeah, I've got one trailer for the medium logs, and then I'm going to put the rest of the logs in the paystar. That's why I've got the paystar, because it's got the longer um, sideboard, so the logs will actually fit in instead of kind of sticking over the edge like they were. Um, yeah, driving over to Quarry, fortunately, there's a logging station right there, which is pretty much next to the garage. And better than that, it's like an unlimited log station, and it's got medium and long logs, which is, uh, yeah, quite a nice starting point for the missions, really. Like I said, it's just down the road from the, uh, the garage. Certainly not really awkward to get to. <laughs> was that well? It's not the reason I ended up not choosing this, but I realised the steering was pretty slow on it. When I first started this mission, I had the Azov Antarctic, so I thought oh, I'll take that. I've not really used that much. Then I thought, oh, actually, I've been using the uh, the iceberg, the modded version in the. Uh... Yeah, I've, I've been using that in a few recent videos. <laughs> Enjoying the horn. It's a pretty good horn on this truck. Uh, then I went to try the bandit. Someone was saying the bandit was doing pretty good in the uh, newer maps, but I just went to go and take it anyway. The steering on it was so bad, the turning circle, I rolled in the ditch as soon as I left the garage, and I could have easily got out of it, but I was just like, nope, that's uh, that's that one done. So yeah, and I was flicking through, and obviously with the thing I'm going to do is like get a set of medium logs. In theory, I could have had a trailer on the paystar as well and put a set in there, but there's no point if I'm going to be topping a trailer up anyway. Um... Yeah, I, I was like limited on what trucks I could bring because I need a truck that can have that uh, logging crane on the back. So I was thinking about the P16, it wouldn't let me do that. The Colob, that can't have a crane. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but there was quite a few big trucks and various different ones I was thinking of bringing. And uh, yeah, in the end I kind of settled on this. Hoping it uh, might do alright. So the good thing about the 49X, it's got plenty of power. And uh, get logging it. I'll just skip ahead a bit because I was messing around quite a bit dropping them first two logs. It wasn't the cleanest drop anyway, but I was kind of not really, uh, yeah, just getting on with it <laughs> for the sake of the video. So instead of just seeing two minutes of me uh, messing around. But yeah, this is basically the, uh, the plan. Stick six logs in here and then, uh, yeah, top my trailer up as and when I need to. For some reason, every time you go out of that crane, it like auto repacks itself. Well, in fact, I don't think it does do it every time, because I don't think it does to me later thinking about it, but it seems to do it every time <laughs> I don't want it to. It's as if it knows. It used to be able to grab, like, three logs at a time, but it's, uh... Yeah, it's not really doing it. On Mudrunner, it seemed a bit easier to get three logs at a time. I think I did manage to get three the other day, but then, uh, yeah, because the crane things like that rotates the opposite way to the d-pad. I think I accidentally like smacked it against something and then it uh, let go of them all. But overall I'm getting slightly used to the crane. Again it's that rotating the wrong way that just throws me off because it's kind of natural to try and turn it the way it should turn and then when it goes the wrong way I end up either yeah, smacking into something and dropping them or, or then it all starts going wonky. Didn't pack it that time I went out of it. But anyway, we'll get setting off. And like I said, fingers crossed, this thing's got a, a lot of power. So I was hoping it should be alright for towing. Stick a winch on that though. And uh, yeah, we seem to be going not too quick. Particularly when I start getting up to this point, this muddy section. It's really not liking it one bit. And that's kind of the shame with the 49X. It's... Overall, I quite like it, but it's more, it's probably more bordering on like a highway truck than you would think, even though it's got all the all-wheel drive and all the rest of it. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, it just doesn't seem to have a lot of grip of all, at all, and I know I've got the uh, chained on, and I know they're not the mud chained, but it's the sort of truck that's going to have the jewel rears anyway, I don't think you have a selection of mud tyres with this. Um, it's just always been a bit of a slippy truck that struggles, however, for some reason as well, the uh, 
paystar isn't actually moving. If you look now, it's not driving its wheels or anything. So that's half the reason why I'm going a lot slower. You can see now, when I start pressing the winch down, the uh, the paystar starts driving forward, and then suddenly my uh, 49X is having relatively no trouble kind of going forward at the same rate. So they seem to have kind of broken the whole uh, towing vehicle things at the minute because it's basically like in pull mode only when you've got the winch attached but then it does something different later but there seems to be something dodgy going on with it anyway because as you can see there it's basically in pull mode where there's no drive going on and I am just now hauling a pace uh, yeah the pace star is like pure dead weight um, but then when you're hoovering the winch in, then it sort of auto-flicks itself into drive mode and it starts driving to help hoover the winch in, which is just an odd combination of things. It's like the worst of both worlds. So, uh, yeah, at that point, though, I got rid of the 49X. We brought in the uh, brought in the Dolphin. Again, I was trying to pick maybe a different truck because of it. I, obviously, I use this thing quite a lot, but I use it quite a lot because it's a bit of a beast. Of course, in my own time, <laughs> I snuck a loaf in. I wanted to see if you could load them, like, or pack them, sorry, on top of the logs, and you can. Although, as you'll see, it's a little bit wobbly. More like the logs aren't quite even, so it's already tipping over to the side a bit. And then uh, you'll see in a sec as well. Well, we're traveling along now, I've got into high range with relatively little issue. Uh, again, the Dolphin's pretty good at pulling, but still, it did feel a little bit iffy. And uh, as I get to the top here, I kind of test it. I accidentally stalled because I forgot I was in high, but it makes no difference to what I was trying to show. So I stick the handbrake on and floor it. And as you can see, again, I know I stalled, but I'm just driving now. I've put my handbrake on so I don't move. I wanted to see if that pace star starts driving towards me, which, in theory, it should. It always has done before. But then, yeah, as I start hoovering the winch in... It's just weird, because it's like, that's the one time it wouldn't necessarily need to drive. It's like it's helping the winch hoover you in, and making the uh, the power of the winch kind of useless in that sense. It's just driving itself towards me. So, yeah, again, it's kind of the worst of both worlds. It's pull mode when you need it to be drive mode, and then drive mode when you need it to be pull mode. So if I ever need a vehicle to flip me over and I start hoovering the winch in, the vehicle then starts driving, which a lot of the time... It's uh, beneficial for the vehicle to stay still. So like I said, they're kind of the opposite way around, so they should be. And a little bit later, I do manage to get it going. I'm not 100% how, but clearly there is something wrong. And that's also possibly been causing some issues on those newer maps that I've been doing various missions on. Because uh, quite a lot in that, I've been taking tandem vehicles. Somebody did say to me like a good few days ago, maybe get on for a week ago, that uh, they were towing one of their vehicles. And yeah, when they got to the other end, like... They had nearly full fuel in the vehicle they were towing, which they knew like it would have used more if it was driving as well. So they were saying like they reckon it basically turned into pull mode, and uh, yeah, so that's possibly been causing some of the slowdown. But then even in that um, in my live stream and stuff when I was doing that weather station mission, I ended up disconnecting the Tega, and then forgot to reattach it in time, so I just kind of drove off anyway. Um, yeah, so at that point I wasn't towing any vehicles and that was still being slowed down, so there's definitely more than one issue involved, like the over-the-top super mud seems to have made a reappearance in the later maps. And there's a few other people that have been saying they think I might be right in terms of, I, I said like, I think they might have turned the, you know, dialed the terrain resistance up. Um, like over the farm and that because the mud there's always been slow but yeah for the last couple of days even some of the big meaty trucks have absolutely just been getting ruined in there like really struggling and as I said a tattering got stuck so stuck it couldn't move while driving or even pull itself out of a winch which is pretty insane when you think about it because the tattering is pretty much go anywhere at one speed and it's uh, yeah if that can't handle it, then there, there is a serious problem. But anyway, this one, that's kind of why I was on these maps really today. Uh, Drown Land's a bit of a change from those other maps. This is not necessarily the easiest map in the world, but it's not too bad at the minute, because we're mainly cruising along around the roads. I f forgot I'd already saved it at that point, so I just stopped to save the footage again. Just to make sure. I can only save 15 minutes at a time. I can turn it up to like half an hour, etc., but then it uses the PS4 memory up ridiculously quick, so just trying to, yeah, keep it a bit shorter each time. 
Yeah, I'm still trying to look now to see if it's helping me. What I was basically doing, once I was in high, it wasn't so bad, but what I was doing for some of the time was, as I was driving, just holding the winch button down, and then that was applying some kind of drive to the uh, the pay star behind me. Still not very fast. And yeah, overall, I think it's about time, really, the need to up how fast a vehicle follows you. I've got to be honest, I won't hold my breath for it, though, because <laughs> there's quite a few things that they don't seem to change. As I said, they always change just some random stuff that, like, nobody was asking for or cared about, and then all the, all the weird bugs that loads of people say this is a problem, <laughs> they don't seem to have uh, sorted it. Yeah, the trailer and the, uh, the loaf nearly went already there. See, this time I haven't got the off-road trailer pack on at the minute, so this is one of the normal trailers. And I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to test it myself pretty soon. With like, I might get a pair of Navistars and have an off-road medium log trailer and a normal medium log trailer. And see how it goes. See the goddamn professional. He knew what was going to happen. He dived off to save the logs. I mean, you got to respect it. Um, yeah, but I'm not sure if the uh, off-road logging trailer has extra weight, which is good, particularly if you're driving like along, say, dirt roads. Yeah, nothing with really boggy terrain, that's when it sort of bites you for it, but it helps keep it stable. This trailer did seem a little bit wobbly. I know I did have the loaf on it, but it seemed a little bit wobbly anyway, even uh, before and after. And then, yeah, getting pretty stuck now, but again, the pay style has gone back to just sitting there dead and making me pull it completely. Um, so, I'm holding the winch button now. It's now ramming into my trailer. I also turned off on a bit of an awkward angle. I think that little deeper section I went into there was like extra trollish anyway, so I'm just kind of getting it back to the road at the minute. And of course, you've got to remember, you can't forget the magic of the loaf. Bam, he's back. <laughs> Couldn't leave him. He's too good. Well, he's got extra supplies. <laughs> Again, I'm blaming the supplies. And the dolphin drinks a lot of fuel, especially when it's towing a lazy bloody pay star, so I need that fuel. Fuel is good for me. The loaf feeds my dolphin, and then my dolphin completes missions. It's a beautiful thing to behold. Um, yeah, this section's definitely not the quickest section, but again, at least it's only in little patches. Well, the bigger issue here, I've certainly been through here plenty of times before with the dolphin, and it's been through here a lot faster than this before, even if I have um, got trailers and stuff. The biggest thing holding me up now is the pay style, which again is like now presents a separate issue where I could do this mission a lot quicker if I just disconnected the winch now and drove off with my own logs. But then I'm going to have to go elsewhere to go and get another two loads of logs. So you're kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Again, I'm, I'm hoping they've accidentally broke the whole winching situation that's stopping that pay star from driving along like it should be. But it honestly wouldn't amaze me at this, po this point if they've purposely made it that way to be just some kind of troll and hindrance again. <laughs> it's like they seem to love chucking uh, awkward problems in the way of things that otherwise would work perfectly smoothly. So it's not even letting me jump into high at the minute, which... It's always awkward trying to get them into high. Once they're in high, they're uh, fairly hard to stall out of high. But the problem is, you kind of need to wind up to full revs in high. Once you actually get to full revs, it then it's kind of pretty stable in the high range, and it's pretty hard to drop out of it. But yeah, because the dead weight uh, pay star is kind of slowing me down, it's not letting me get full revs in high, so it's always being a little bit temperamental. Grab a bit of fuel while I'm there. That must have been a little glitch there. Again, though, that pay star, I kind of realised near the end, has used barely any fuel. I mean, it should have been using a little bit of fuel when I was hoovering the winch in. But that said, that might not even be using fuel, because I kind of do that zombie winch trick, cutting through the water sometimes when a truck's drowned. If you've got a loaf sat on its head, you can kind of zombie winch it and make it drive forward. And uh, you can do that sometimes when the engine's even broken. So... It may not actually be using fuel just by, like, when I'm hoovering in the winch. I mean, all things considered, I still reckon it's probably quicker to do it this way. Because, like I said, otherwise, well, say instead of the pay star having those six logs in the back, 
I had some other truck, whatever, and I had another medium log trailer, that's two. So I'd have to just set off and get one more lot of medium logs, which, to be honest, there is actually a place on quarry that's not ridiculously far from the quarry, and it does have medium and long logs. But again, I just wanted to kind of set off from drowned lands, half of it, to just have a little test, have a little drive, enjoy the, uh, enjoy the smoother roads instead of the constant trollish farm areas and that on the new map. To be fair though, I don't think, so far anyway, I'll kind of probably end up eating my words, but because I've not been on Green Woods a whole lot the last couple of days, but um, yeah, but that uh, that map overall doesn't feel too ruthless to me. It's got quite a lot of roads that actually link the main areas of the map up, and um, yeah, I can't really think of any ridiculous mud sections on Green Woods. For the most part, anyway, I'm sure there is here and there. There is, like, in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a mission suspicious activity or something. It's all pretty boggy around there, but you're not. it's not a main route of the road. It's just something off in the corner, so that's not as bad. Like, yeah, the problem is on Black Badger, it's, uh... The farmland is, like, the only way, really, down that right-hand side of the map. By the way, um, you'll see just before then, I disconnected the pay start and set off towards the uh, gateway and the dolphin immediately set off in high range up to speed, so it was this that's causing me to go a lot slower. So it wasn't the loaf or anything like that, and it's not the medium log trailer, it was definitely this, because as soon as I cut this loose, and then now, disaster. Right, I travelled through the gateway, and I was like, oh yes, it didn't even get rid of my logs, all six are in there. I held L1, oh, you can see me holding it there, and I pressed square. It's again a bit of a glitch, it travelled back through the gateway to drown lands and then it dropped logs in drown lands because of that alone I had to then get the uh, dolphin take that back through the gateway so I had to load this map back up get the dolphin load drown lands back up with that load the logs on load this map back up with the dolphin load drown lands back up <laughs> drive this thing through to load this map up and then it dropped two logs and one luckily is like wedged under it rather than vanishing completely which is what I'm just driving forward on that now, trying to get it out from under the wheels. But yeah, just because of that alone, and you can try it yourself while you're on the gateway, even though I was holding L1 and I was obviously trying to engage um, all-wheel drive, like L1 and square, square is also to travel through the gateway, and for some reason when you're on it, it kind of, I don't know, puts that one in instead. And uh, yeah, all because of that, that probably cost me about half an hour of just going back and forth, loading the maps up, craning all the stuff in. It was a right pain in the ass, but um, yeah, we got it done. Like I said, I cut kind of most of it out. You've just seen the last little bit of me chucking the last log in there. So, I remember on the last time, obviously, uh, I went through two gateways. The first one, what, oh yeah, there, a few of them fell out, and then on the second one it went really badly. This one, the first time it went through, was the only time I've ever seen all the logs actually stay in. And then, yeah, it took it from me. See, I was doing the winch again there, and now, when I was... When I was pressing accelerate, that thing was actually driving as well. And you'll see now, it's a lot easier to get into high gear. And then at some point, I'm not sure if it has stopped again now, but it kind of then just locks it in place because it's only got a certain speed limit on it anyway. Again, it probably does have on a towed vehicle, it probably just has a set speed limit of like 15 miles an hour or whatever. And it appears to have reached it. It might still be helping, but yeah, it's a bit iffy with the winches. Again, I hope they've accidentally broke that and they plan to fix it a little bit like the uh, the slow reverse gear thing but they still haven't adjusted that yet which I'm guessing couldn't be that difficult but we'll see I, it can't be too long until they do some kind of patch so uh, yeah fingers crossed they actually get some of this stuff sorted but anyway we're back on the road we're nearly there now coming up to the uh, quarry I'm holding the winch button in now just to get that thing actually driving behind me again because I, I think at that point it might have given up. And now by holding that button down it's actually ramming the trailer just behind me which is, uh, yeah, keeping me moving at a fairly decent pace here. Again, this section is a bit trollish but at least it looks pretty trollish. And it's not a massive section and again it's only just like one little road kind of leading off to the quarry. It's not the end of the world. 
<laughs> I was I was too busy looking at the truck behind me and I was uh, drove straight into a tree. And uh, yeah, just going to turn right down here and we're pretty much back onto normal roads again, which is pretty nice. I could have carried on along the main road and then took like the next right and it would have been a little bit of a... Like, I would have had to cut through that section to my left. I mean, this is now kind of joining back at where I do my review videos and uh, yeah, fly down to the quarry. As you can see on my first playthrough, there's plenty of spare trailers lying around. I also release this trailer to the wild now belongs to the quarry. Yeah, not too keen on that whole uh, winch situation at the minute. But eventually we've got it banged back in high. Again with the glitches. Nailing me at the minute. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm going to disconnect at the minute because getting down here well, I was kind of worried about all of them, to be honest. Well, I mean, if the dolphin tips, it's not the end of the world. I didn't want the trailer to tip, and I certainly didn't want the paystar to tip, and then have to load everything back into the paystar, like 20 metres from my destination anyway. So I got prepared, went for it. <laughs> you can see, I start to go a little bit. The dolphin potentially can anyway, as you turn in there. Smack my chin on the floor, then that disconnected the logs. I kind of floored it forward before. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a, uh, bit of a crazy one. Certainly didn't help with the dolphin catching its chin. Fortunately, because there is all those like bars on the side of the logging trailer, it uh, held them in place. I was just able to repack it. And it didn't quite tip there, so happy days. We just about got away with that one. And uh, yeah, this is where they need delivering. <laughs> Getting a lean on there. It's one down. So... Now I've got to get this thing down here without tipping it. Which is a bit iffy with the uh, the longer trucks. But it's not too bad. We've got, well, yeah, just had to swerve it down enough. It didn't catch its chin, so that was pretty handy. And then, like I said, now I'd have to drive back out the quarry head to the nearest medium logging thing which there is I think it's at the sawmill on this map it's not that far away but I certainly think it'd be longer than doing this however this is the next issue when them six are in the trailer they kind of all line up perfectly and I can't get my pincers between them to be able to pick them up which uh, yeah was a bit of a problem I had a uh, more attempts than you just seen there but there's no point in just watching again a few minutes of me trying to do that so I suppose in a way that kind of at a lot of time that I saved <laughs> but now I know for future reference but where there's a loaf there's a way we'll figure it out get him up there stick a winch on yeah <laughs> I've seen if I could tip it or enough so the logs start jumping out. Because in theory, even if one log jumped out, I'd have room to get my uh, the pincers in. It was just because all those logs pretty much fit perfectly in the bottom of the trailer. There was no gaps between the logs where I could uh, yeah get them in. But yeah, tipped it over. Logs delivered. <laughs> we'll do it the hard way. Again, that was definitely what she said. close, the crane just about can reach. Like, far enough back so it sits in the trailer and gives you the green dot where it'll let it pack. It's close though. So yeah, overall, minus the hiccups of uh, not being able to grab them out the back. Now I know that, I could just, as soon as I get there, drive the paystar up like that and get it flipped, tipped, or whatever somehow. Went into the menu and for a second I was like, what the hell, Where's, why is it not offering me the option to uh, drop the logs off? But uh, yeah, if you look at the top, press R2, it jumps back out. I don't know why it jumped out of that menu, because that was the last one that it gave me, but whatever. It was a uh, yeah minor inconvenience. 
and get the last lot of logs put on. One of the logs, I had to re-grab that log, that's why I cut part of it out. I, uh, yeah, packed it, it wouldn't let me pack it. And there it is. Jobs are good and deliver that. And uh, yeah, not even 10 grand, a little bit stingy again with the money. <laughs> it seems to be getting lower these days. But that's about it for today though, I hope you've enjoyed, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon.